Morphological Morphology is a branch of linguistics that focuses on the study of the internal structure and formation of words. It deals with how words are built and how they can be modified to create new words or change their meaning. In other words, Morphology explores the different components that make up a word and how these components can be combined or altered. There are several key concepts in morphology that help us understand the structure of words. 1. Morphemes. These are the smallest meaningful units of language. A morpheme can be a whole word, free morpheme, or a part of a word that carries meaning, bound morpheme. For example, Cat is a free morpheme because it can stand alone as a complete word. Un is a bound morpheme that can be added to words like happy to create unhappy. 2. Affixes. These are bound morphemes that are attached to a word to modify its meaning or create a new word. Affixes can be prefixes added to the beginning of a word, suffixes, added to the end of a word, or infixes, added within a word. For example, prefix, un, in, unhappy, changes the meaning from happy to not happy. Suffix, er, in, teacher, changes the verb, teach, into a noun referring to a person who teaches. Infix, in English, infixes are rare, but in some languages, like Tagalog, they are used. For instance, umabat, to reach, can be transformed into umabit, reaching, by adding the infix um. 3. Derivational versus inflectional morphology. These are two types of morphological processes. Derivational morphology involves adding affixes to a word to create a new word with a different meaning or part of speech. Inflectional morphology, on the other hand, involves adding affixes to a word to indicate grammatical information such as tense, number, or gender. For example, derivational, dark, can be transformed into darkness by adding the derivational suffix, ness. Inflectional, walk, can be inflected into walks to indicate the third person singular present tense. Overall, morphology is essential for understanding how words are formed and how their structure contributes to their meaning. By analyzing the morphological structure of words, we can expand our vocabulary, decipher unfamiliar words, and grasp the rules that govern word formation in English.